hear that. But why, Cleopatra? Because she paid them to. If you had paid them to do it, they would be acclaiming Ptolemy. You don't really believe they'll make a queen, do you? In his will, your father stipulated that the kingdom should be ruled by both of you. Ha <laughs> ha! My father was a fat old flute player. Charmed by my snake of a sister. But if she thinks I'm dividing, she's mistaken. I'll make her obey me a sole ruler. And I'll give the orders around here. Now, careful. Your father's will has been approved by Pompey. You wouldn't provoke the Romans, would you? Fasten it, clumsy fool. I have to be there first. Oh. You'll give me your support, won't you? The king! Careful, I say. There are Romans here. On your feet. That place is for me. You may sit there. I won't change places now. That throne is not yours. Oh, really? Today I got to it before you did. What if you did? I'm the king and that throne is mine. Our father's will doesn't say so. <sighs> sit down and don't make a scene or you'll make us both look ridiculous. Ah. The measureless disaster which has befallen this land with the passing of its king, the divine and wise, and all-powerful Ptolemy the Thirteenth. Born before his time by the Give them here. Of the underworld from the I thought Father was right. Why? Has overwhelmed us Once he told me you were an idiot, and now I see he overrated you. Ptolemy you're the one who turned him against me. And you're the one who pays the rabble so they will shout your name. Me? Ptolemy and Cleopatra. The late king, in his infinite wisdom and foresight, stipulated should succeed simultaneously to the throne. Fun is fun. You don't realize you risk losing your head. Hmm. It'll be your head that falls before mine. Do you think the Romans will obey your orders? Want to bet on it? What do we put up? Don't press me. Let's leave it up to the winner. I'll take it. Looks like peace is restored. Pity, though. I thought they were so funny then. This divinely inspired decision will guarantee a long and happy reign, blessed with peace and prosperity. Take off my robe, be quick. Long live the queen. What a surprise! Apollodorus! But when did you get here? Why didn't you let me know? I rushed as fast as I could as soon as I heard of your father's death. Oh, how I've missed you. Believe me, Alexandria seemed deserted without you. Vulgar Rome has stolen you. But what do you do among those barbarians? Write poetry. That is, I do nothing. Oh, tell me all the gossip. The masters of the world struggle over it. The matrons are bored with it and read my epigrams. I'm a man in demand there. <laughs> Do you think they'll go to war? <laughs> it's useless to make idle predictions. War has this in common with love. It strikes when we're least prepared for it. And who will win? Oh, now that's obvious. Either Caesar or Pompey. <laughs> and Egypt? Don't tell me you've decided to turn patriotic now. That's not elegant today. I think it's in my interest. Ah, precisely. The truest patriotism consists in being able to determine the name of the winner beforehand. Have you been able to? Oh, I've already done a lot more than that. I've even created a new method. The Romans went mad over my infallible new toy. But that's just an ordinary coin. Look at it closely, I beg you. You see? On one side, there's a head of Pompey. On the other, the head of Caesar. 
You toss it in the air like this, what do we see? If the head is Pompey's, you become Pompey's ally, or vice versa. Let me try. No, my dearest. In politics, one must always avoid compromising oneself. Oh, but this is foolishness. Much less foolish than you imagine. It reduces by 50% your possibilities of being wrong. And when they are political, these odds ensure your success. Only 50%? No, I must have more. <laughs> have you problems in politics? If you had witnessed the ceremony this morning... I was there. I'm listening. Well, an inferior performance. Very stylish, but played unintelligently. I have to defend myself. My hopes were disappointed. After I'd placed such great confidence in you, I now see you stooping to tactics that degrade you. I'd rather be degraded than lose my head. <laughs> Are you so afraid of Ptolemy? Ruling with him is impossible. And why so? Ptolemy is only a marionette. But can't you cut his strings, hmm? I suppose. But someone has to do it with me. Would you be willing to help me? I? <laughs> no, thank you. Mm, you see? Tell me what you think of Theodotus. An able intriguer at court, most well informed. Uh, perhaps I'd better try Lucius Septimius. Oh, he's not a figure of much importance. True enough, but he has soldiers. Anyway, they say he's friendly with Theodotus and my brother. Then why not speak to him? If you wish, I will arrange an interview. Please do. Give me that coin of yours. What do you want with this? Caesar will be Theodotus. Mm -hmm. And Pompey Lucius. Hmm. <laughs> there it is. You see, in politics, it's always difficult to make a choice. Is that you, O Queen? Did you think perhaps it was a ghost? Have no fear, Lucius. It is I. I haven't come here to play games with you. What do you want? Why did you send for me? But why be so impatient? Isn't the evening magnificent? Well, it's an evening much like any other. Why is it you come so often to the palace? Are you so friendly with the auditors? But now that I'm the queen, you could be more friendly with me. You're still a little girl on your throne, Cleopatra. And politics is no concern of little girls. What a throne. A throne without soldiers is a chair without a leg. You have beautiful soldiers. Lucius, on whose side are you? I have soldiers, that's true, and I obey my orders. That's a fine phrase, which conceals a lack of initiative. I don't understand you. It doesn't matter. Just a little girl's chatter. Forget it, Roman soldier. You are not the man I was looking for. No, no! Back to the wall! What do you think of that? Go on, sit down there. I want to see the effect it has. I would prefer not to. I know where my place is. <laughs> this way, Cleopatra won't be able to play her tricks on us. Don't you believe it's a smart idea? The smartest idea you could possibly have. Now it's arranged as it should be. <laughs> hey, don't take that away. I want to keep within reach. Before long, I'll need it for myself. to you at your summons. Perhaps I have been too presumptuous. Why, no, Theodotus, you don't disturb me one bit. Excuse me a moment and I'll be finished. Yes, my queen. Charmian. I'm told you talked to Lucius Septimius. So you spy on me? I believe in being well informed. Why did you speak with him? Well, you're not very well informed. That Lucius is quite handsome. Doesn't it seem reason enough for you? He's a coarse soldier.
But you see, I'm a young girl, weak and utterly defenseless. I need a strong hand, a husband to protect me. To protect you? Well, it's only natural. And the man I choose to marry will be the king of Egypt. And Ptolemy? It's Ptolemy that I'm so worried about. I'm afraid of that monster. I must have at my side a man who is trustworthy and without fear, who would risk everything, even his life, every moment dedicated to winning the love of Cleopatra. Do you know of a man who would do as much? I don't know. Never mind, I'll find him myself. Perhaps there is such a man, and not so very far from you. Vague promises are not enough. What can we possibly do with the Romans around us? You're apt to lose courage. I'll have to act by myself. But we have to wait for the proper occasion. Wait, you say? That word means nothing. Wait at the risk of waiting the rest of our lives? If only I could find a man of impatience. Impatience is often the root of error. First of all, we must distract the soldier's attention, I say. Perhaps I have a brilliant idea. What? Let's hear it. You may rely on me. May I on you? What? Don't tell me you doubt my word. To see is to see. I would prefer to have something more as security. Temporarily, you will have to take me at my word. Temporarily. I will do so. Ah, yes, Cleopatra. The situation in Rome is becoming more and more complicated. And how will the poor Romans know what to do without me? You're leaving just the moment when I have the most need of you. If you want me to advise you, then come with me. There is where the masters are. Here is where the slaves are. There they are deciding the fate of the world, and here you are squabbling like dogs over a bone in the street. Egypt is more than an old bone. <laughs> Compared with Rome, your throne is no more than a kitchen stool. And Egypt, no more than a pantry to supply the kitchens of the masters. Come with me to Rome, Cleopatra. I despise the Romans. And where do you expect to find this man you need to conquer the whole world for you? Here? Perhaps. I dare say you won't. I'm going to reserve myself a front row seat because I want to see the tournament finals. Come back soon, Apollodorus. But what's happening? The Roman troops are going. Are they leaving? And you told me nothing, stupid. Are they taking ships? Are they returning to Rome? There are no troop ships in the harbor. I heard they're marching up the Nile to Memphis. Ah, now we can enjoy ourselves. Wait and see the surprises. For whom? For my dear little brother. And for someone else. Who? Never mind. Now go and summon Theodotus. Oh, but be careful that my brother doesn't see you. Guards, block the doors. What's the meaning of this outrage? It means that you've lost your bet. <laughs> but I was only joking, Cleopatra. Come on, let's try to be serious. You must be insane. This is a conspiracy. Guards, arrest her. I order you as your lord and king. Theodotus, my only friend, someone is making a grave mistake. A perfectly horrible mistake. Tell them that. But I am only the prime minister, and I obey orders. I don't enter into questions of dynastic descent. There is nothing I can do. Then you must have sold out to her, you filthy traitor. No. I'm just as surprised as you. But Ptolemy, I can do nothing. Lucius will surely do something. Where's Lucius? Lucius! Lucius has gone away. You think that you've been too smart for me. But Lucius will return. And then I'll make you pay in full for this insult. How dare you! My person is sacred! 
I'll have all of you burned alive! Well, where is Ptolemy? No one has touched a hair of his head. He is confined in his apartments now under constant guard. I have obeyed you, even though I think it is a mistake. I want to avoid all bloodshed. A king is always a king, as long as he is alive. We have time to think it over. Tomorrow you will announce to the world our forthcoming marriage and my coronation as king. Why, certainly. You have my promise. Do I have only your promise? Aren't you satisfied? I also want to have your love. My love, too. You have to deserve that. What else do you want of me? Tell me and I will do it. You have only to ask. But I'm still a young girl, Theodotus. I don't know what you mean by love. Are you capable of demonstrating? Love, dear Cleopatra is a malevolent god who tortures those who deny him. Then let me worship him. I have no fear. How dare you? Help! Help! Keep Save still! Me have you lost your mind? Save to violate the honor of his queen. He used a pretext to get in and committed the crime of sacrilege. Throw him into prison. His very presence here is an affront to my modesty, my queen. Quickly, some water. There is an officer of the guards here. What is it? My queen, while we were leading Theodotus to the prison, he seized a sword from one of the soldiers and stabbed himself before he could be prevented. Then bury him. He's still alive, my queen, but he has only a short time to live. I don't think he'll survive until morning. Theodotus is calling your name and says he wants to beg your gracious pardon and that he must reveal a secret to you of the utmost importance. A secret? What is it about? You alone can hear it, but he was speaking of the Romans and of Lucius. Of Lucius? Bring me my mantle. Tell me your name, soldier. Achilles, captain of the guard. I am extremely grateful, Achilles. Accompany me to the prison. Yes, my queen. Where is he? In here, my queen. But of course. It's very dangerous to try to be too clever. But now, what's to become of me? I don't know. That's for your brother to decide. Then I'll be killed. That would be a pity indeed. Let no one discover who is occupying that cell. You are not to speak to her. It means your head if you do. You must have come to kill me. Now listen to me. I'll abdicate my right to the throne. No. Don't be hasty. This might even cost you your life. They'll tell Lucius Septimius. What's wrong with you? I am at your orders, Ptolemy. As I was at the orders of your father. Do you mean to say I'm free? I'm allowed to live again? That I'm still the king? <laughs> you wouldn't be joking with me. Ptolemy, you played it brilliantly. Yes. 
Yes, of course I did. Will you explain how? I mean the way you moved your men so ably, as a great politician. I saw you lure Cleopatra into taking her first false step, and she took it. Now the Romans can't complain or protest at all if you reign alone on the throne. <laughs> yes, it was a great idea. But you, by all the gods, might have warned me. And you, my king. You believed that I would really turn traitor? You obviously had doubts of my fidelity. Cleopatra, where is she? Locked in a prison cell. She's harmless. She won't give us any further trouble. No, no, no. We must eliminate her from the scene. As long as she's alive, my head feels unsafe. We have to be patient. Better to act with legal measures. I've sent a messenger with a summons for Lucius Septimius. We'll give her a fair trial. But is the verdict arraigned? Achilles! Ah, you can't speak to me. You're full of remorse. You're ashamed of your treason, aren't you? When I think how I was taken in by that trick and by that scene you played for me. Tell me, how much did the auditors give you? What did that wicked old man promise you? No. You don't have the face of a man who would betray his queen for gold. Your face seems honest and faithful. I'm sure they tricked you. Heaven knows what lies they must have told you about me. I have nothing against you, you know. Even though I have every right. But I don't blame you at all. Are you afraid to come near me? What harm will it do you to say a word or two? You won't betray your dear Theodotus. I feel so lonely. Hmm. Time goes so slowly. How old are you? I'm 18. <laughs> they say that's the best age. Is that right? Oh, you must be about 25. Why won't you let me see your hair? With those helmets, all soldiers look alike. I can't tell you apart in them. Ah, well, at least I know you're not deaf. Why don't you come closer? You're afraid of me still? Why, I'm not armed. You see? Take a good look. You may even search me if you wish. Come closer. Come on. Who knows how often I've passed right by you in the palace and you made no impression. Imagine. Perhaps you were the man I've been seeking. But now I fear it's too late. Before long, I'll be put to death. It's a pity to make a girl die at 18. It's a pity to destroy a body like mine. Why did you choose to serve Theodotus? He'll leave you to rot in obscurity. Why, you're worth 10 of that weasel. Ah, oh, if you had a bit of imagination, you could conquer the whole world. Decision. What is it? Death. Death. Put her to 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 death. Inasmuch as this is the expressed will of my government, I am compelled with the profoundest sorrow to condemn to the pain of death my beloved sister Cleopatra. Follow tradition in the grand manner. Proclaim the news with heralds and collect the populace. <laughs> Make this entertaining. No! No!
Hey! What's no, happening? No, no, no. What is it? Wake up! A oh, oh, horrible thing! What was it? Oh. I'm afraid. I dreamt a terrible dream. Sometimes dreams are ten times worse than ah. reality. So that's all it was. Well then. Oh, listen to me. I wasn't alone in the dream. You were there too. The gods sometimes send us dreams to warn us. They speak to us through them. We must not ignore their hidden messages. Oh, no, listen to me. We were seated on a throne covered with emeralds. The populace loved us. The moon and all the stars bowed down to us. And Ra, the sun god, smiled kindly. And then all at once, I felt something cold and slimy in the air. It was he, the god Anubi of the jackal's face, staring fixedly through his vicious little eyes. His face contracted in a hideous grin. He grabbed me, and he dragged me down into the land of shadows. And I was calling your name, Achilles, but no sound could I force from my throat. He was dragging me further down into the depths of the earth. And then all of a sudden, you were there holding a sword, about to thrust it into the foul body of a newbie. But your sword was as if made of wax. The god howled. I called out to you. I felt those slippery hands running over my body. Oh, save me. Is all well? Yes. Open the door. Cleopatra. The king, your brother, has condemned you to death. <gasps> no! <laughs> you will die at dawn tomorrow. In this fashion, you will expiate your debt towards your brother. But you still have an outstanding debt in my favor. Now, good Achilles, bring this woman to my quarters, secure her well. Be sure she's gagged and covered so that no one will recognize her. No, no, not that. I don't mind dying, but not that. Till we meet again, Cleopatra. Achilles, Achilles, you must kill me, I beg you. I do my death to this honor. You coward, let me go. Let me go. Take this and get out of here immediately. I told you to get out. No! Oh. Come, my queen. We haven't a moment to waste. I hate you. 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 But tell me, why have you waited such a long time? Because it was the only sure way I had of getting you safely out of the prison. Will you forgive me? With you at my side, I will reconquer Egypt. I'm sure of it. We must leave, my queen. There are two swift horses awaiting us outside. We will flee to Syria. And him? He is dead. They won't find him before tomorrow morning. If the gods assist us, by then we should be in a place of safety. Let us hurry. 
This is for our voyage. He shall pay for it. What has happened here, Master? Come and help me. Hurry up. By the sacred order of our august king and noble pharaoh, Ptolemy the 14th, messengers will be sent throughout the land, across the desert to the remotest villages and oases, to announce that the head of the traitor Achilles will be paid with its weight in gold. Also that 1,000 golden talents will be the reward to the person who will bring dead or alive Princess Cleopatra to Alexandria. All ships will proceed immediately to block the ports and patrol the coastline. All guard posts at our frontiers are ordered to be particularly vigilant when inspecting caravans directed beyond our confines. As we have been notified to our most profound sorrow that our esteemed and beloved sister, the Princess Cleopatra, our right hand, is dead. We decree three days of mourning throughout the entire country. All of the temples must remain closed. No religious function is permitted. Her name shall be immediately inscribed on the tombs of the Logodic by the side of that of her father, Ptolemy Kilopatori Philadelphus Neas. She was noble of spirit as well as beautiful. Our sister Cleopatra. There's going to be a war. A Caesar has crossed the Rubicon. Are you quite sure? She stood alone There's going to be a war. Caesar has crossed the Rubicon. A war? Her eyes were like the gentle the there's going to be a war. Caesar has crossed the Rubicon. What goes on there? May I be allowed to know what you're whispering? Terrible news, Ptolemy. Cleopatra. Lucius. And it must be true what they're murmuring. Caesar has crossed the Rubicon and has occupied all of Italy. Pompey has escaped to Syria to concentrate his troops and reorganize his battalions. And you? What about you, Legion? The orders are to assemble the troops and to encamp at the port of Pelusium. When the fleet is ready for us to embark, I shall sail to join Pompey. But that's not possible. You cannot leave us like that. I must obey the orders of Pompey. I tell you, I won't have it. You cannot leave us defenseless. What danger is threatening you? Cleopatra. That woman is a demon. I feel a hatred hovering over us. Cleopatra is dead. That's what you tell me. I must join forces with Pompey in Syria. This is a war that will inflame the world. Why would Pompey be interested in your insignificant quarrels? So you call them insignificant? Most August King, the three days of mourning. We're in mourning already. There's nothing we can do. He's done for. Cleopatra, we must go. Oh, no, I can't make it. I'm thirsty. We mustn't give up and stop here. Oh. Come on, come. You can do it. Water can't be far away. No, leave me here. I can't take another step. I'm exhausted. Never mind. I can still carry you. Come on. Oh. Oh. We can do it, my queen. Water. Water. Money first. Give him a water skin.
May I also buy two horses? I'll take them. Cleopatra, I've got some water. Drink it. Mm. Slowly now. We've been lucky, running into those travelers. They are Bedouin merchants. That's enough. You mustn't drink too much. It will be bad for you. No, please give me some more. No, that's enough. You know they've also sold us a pair of horses. We can join them and make the rest of our journey in safety. Look there. Do you know who she is? Why, it's Cleopatra. She's worth a thousand talents of gold. This is our chance to make a fortune, my brothers. <laughs> Come on, follow us. I'll help you to mount, soldier. Stand back. Where you are, soldier. If you take one more step, I'll kill her. She's worth a thousand talents, dead or alive. Turn on your sword. <coughs> my queen. You've saved my life once again, Achilles. Who knows if I'll ever be able to show you my gratitude. We have fresh horses and supplies. The frontier is not far away. We must hurry, Cleopatra. We haven't a moment to lose. In my opinion, we should start right away. We have already lost too much time in Syria. We must complete the gathering of our forces. We have at our disposal 500 ships and 10 legions. Any delay now could be fatal. It is up to Pompey to decide. What is your opinion, Pompey? Yes, Father. We are all waiting for your orders. Father. Hmm? Oh. Um... How many ships do we have? We have 500, Pompey. They are all fully armed and carrying the best seamen and ready for battle. And the legions? Ten legions, all composed of combat veterans of the wars in Asia and Spain. Ah, yes, good. And what news of Caesar? He's in Brindisium. Ah. Then we must open our campaign against Caesar. No. No, my son. You are young and impetuous. Our best course is to temporize. Weary the enemy. Wait until his forces are debilitated. But, Father, time is working against us. Ah, you're all itching to fight. So was I once, but wars are won with patience. Let us order the fleet to set sail for Brindisium. We must prevent Caesar from making a landing at Epirus. Give him no quarter. <laughs> but what if he does land in Epirus? We are not afraid of him. What is the hour? We're within the second hour of the first watch. Mm -hmm. Well, our course will be to wait and reflect. The council is convened for the same hour tomorrow. Scarus. What's wrong with him? How should I know? I confess I haven't understood him for some time now. What kind of war is this? Wait, he says, temporize. The days of Hannibal are long past. We placed all our hopes in Pompey, but he's no longer himself. Where's the man who led us against Mithridates? I don't know him anymore. What if we went ahead without Pompey? No, my friend, no one would follow us, good or bad. Pompey is still the symbol of liberty. I'm 
I'm sick of suffocating here in this miserable water hole. <sighs> we've been a month in this place, and what have we accomplished? In spite of luck being with us, when I think Pompey is within a stone's throw and need only lift a finger to restore me to the throne and we haven't even set eyes on him yet, it drives me wild. But he's too busy with another war. We'll have to wait a while longer. Wait longer? Ptolemy's enjoying our kingdom and that's all you say? If you want me to take my sword and go face Ptolemy alone, I'm ready to do it. Mm. No, Achilles. Why commit suicide? You have no more confidence in me. I can see that. I prefer to commit suicide. My darling, of course I trust you. And there's more than my trust to make you dear to me. I love you, Cleopatra. And to me, it makes no difference if you're a queen or an exile. I know it. But that doesn't help matters. Did you hear that? There's someone outside. Who are you? An old friend, soldier. Apollodorus! You! Oh, how happy I am to see you! Oh, what a joy! What a joy to have you with me when I most need you! But how did you find out? Tell me. Good news flies quickly, and I'm always well informed, you know. Oh, come in. I have so much to tell you. Is that the man you were searching for? Well, he saved my life. And are you in love with him? Oh, Apollodorus, don't be so curious. Let's speak of something more serious. I must be restored. Haven't you any bright ideas? Be careful of bright ideas. You've already had far too many. And now you see what they brought you to. All right, what should I do according to you? Turn myself in, renounce the throne? Why not come with me to Rome? They do things on a grand scale. I dare say it suits your temperament. To Rome? I wouldn't even think of it. By the way, Apollodorus, you're a friend of everyone's. Could you have me introduced to Pompey? Oh, Pompey. I wouldn't bet on him. I'm betting on Caesar. Pompey will swallow him in one mouthful. I always back my premonition. You're a prophet without honor. And you, dear, are a queen without a throne. Never mind. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> Help me, I implore you. Help me to speak with Pompey. I don't know. He doesn't like me much. And I suppose there's nothing to do. And I have put so much faith in you. Oh, very well. I found out that every day about sunset, Pompey goes to meditate under the cliffs of Atenea. Do you know them? Yes, but there are so many soldiers around him, I could never even get near him. But the beach is open to the sea. Oh. Hey, down there, do you see something on the shore? Yes, I see something, General. It looks like the body of a woman. We must help her. She's alive. Where am I? Who are you? A woman or a goddess? Oh, I'm Cleopatra, queen of Egypt. Oh, I was forced to flee to save my life from an infamous conspiracy. We were shipwrecked. Cleopatra, this is incredible. How is it possible? They told us she'd been killed. Yes, but look, she's still wearing the royal scarab on her finger. Ha! <laughs> By Apollo, what a prodigious miracle. Only a god could have aided her. That's obvious, great Pompey. She must have been carried here through divine intervention. We must bow to the will of the gods, especially when it appears in such a lovely form. Let this woman be carried to the camp. 
see that she is attended by the best physicians and uh, <laughs> entertained as a friend of the Roman people. We barely managed to escape, and my first thought was to come straight to you and implore your aid. But our frail little boat couldn't withstand the blows of Neptune. I called your name aloud, Pompey, but then I remember nothing more. You thought of me? Aren't you the protector of my family? Yes. Weren't you a good friend of my father's? Yes. And didn't you carry me in your arms when my father was in exile and came to you for help? By Apollo, this is truly an amazing coincidence. Have a seat, Cleopatra. <laughs> you must be exhausted. Yes. What else could have brought me here to you across the cruel sea if it weren't divine will? Yes, that's certain. Then how could you possibly refuse to sustain a miracle? Restore me the throne usurped by a degenerate brother and a faithless minister? Yes, when I have conquered Caesar, now I need all my soldiers. But at most we'll need your soldiers for only a few days. Order Lucius Septimius to help me overthrow Theodotus. <clears throat> Lucius Septimius is already at Pelusium, waiting for the ships to embark with his entire legion. But I will return your legion of soldiers, plus 10,000 armed Egyptians. The gods have brought me to you, and it would be a bad omen to repudiate their will. Or perhaps you don't believe in the gods. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, certainly, when I have won this war. Don't bother about that. Your officers are capable of defeating Caesar, aren't they? You must be tired of battlefields. Yes, very tired. But unfortunately, I can't turn over the command. Come up the Nile. You can't imagine the reflection of moonlight on its waters. And the stars are so close, you want to pluck them out of the sky. The desert is almost ablaze with their fire. Mm, yes, I will come. You'll send the order? Uh, no. Remain here. Remain as the guest of the Roman people and mine. Hmm? Mm. No? Ah, uh, believe me, when I have defeated Caesar, I will accompany you to Egypt, and we will punish all your enemies. Very well, I will stay in Syria. I want to be at your side when you go on the battlefield. It will be an honor to learn the art of warfare from the great Pompey. Ah, uh, how sweet of you. Um, is that your invincible sword? Hmm? Yes. Oh, it's heavy. <laughs> you must be as strong as Hercules. Your small hand is not made for iron, but for gold. I will cover it with gold, Cleopatra, if you will accept my hospitality. Of course I will remain at your side, great Pompey. But you must send that order to Lucius Septimius, so Egypt will be ready to receive her queen. I will send it tomorrow. Very well. Tomorrow I shall return. But... Scaurus. The Queen of Egypt shall have free access to my tent whenever she wishes. Yes, I understand, General. She may come and go as she pleases. <laughs> Ah, there you are. I've been sick with worry about you for hours. And now you come back, late at night, without any explanation and wearing oh, a Roman mantle. what's there to shout about? It's simple. I've been with Pompey. With Pompey? Did you accomplish anything? <laughs> That's not important. What really matters is that I was received with all the respect due to my rank. After that? <sighs> I was dying of thirst. And then just what did you do? We concluded a pact, one that allies Rome and Egypt. What type of alliance is it? Mm, political and military. Mm, a very tight one, no doubt. Yes, I got what I wanted. Tight enough for Pompey to be able to tear your clothes off. What's the matter with you? Are you throwing a fit of jealousy? Yes. Do you think you have the right? No. I know I don't have the right. And besides, what am I compared to you? Much less than nothing. Achilles. Now, don't behave badly. If I offend you at all, I'm ready to leave you this very moment. You shouldn't be jealous of Pompey. He might be my grandfather. He's not offering help because he's mad about me, but out of respect for me. You swear it? I swear it. That's better. Now, run and fetch me Apollodorus. 
Apollodorus is gone. You mean he left without a word? A, a single word of farewell? No, he left all this money for you. Uh. And this coin. Pompey? Caesar. <laughs> Caesar. Scaurus, go to Cleopatra and tell her I'm expecting her. The Queen has left, sir. Where is she gone? I don't know, General. I don't want her to leave the camp. You mean hold her as a prisoner? Yes. Um, no, no, of course not. She is an ally for whom I have great consideration, but see to it that she has guards who never let her out of their sight. For her protection, naturally. Understand? Of course. It shall be done, Great Pompey. Great Pompey, Caesar has made a landing in Epirus. But a terrible storm at sea is raging off Brandesium, and his forces are cut in two. We must attack at once and surprise him while he's in difficulty. Great Pompey, give us our marching orders, now that your victory is a certainty. Father, Caesar is entirely at our mercy. Ah, you are all gullible. Why can't you see that this is a trick of Caesar's to draw us into an ambush? My information is correct, sir. And what about the storm at sea? Is that a trick too, do you think? <laughs> you don't realize how shrewd Caesar is. No! It will be wisest for us to wait until tomorrow. Tomorrow? Tomorrow may be too late. These are things which require much thought. I will ponder them tonight. I implore you, great Pompey, give us the order now. Every hour you delay might prove fatal to our cause. Enough! Do you think there are greater generals than Gnaeus Pompey, eh? You will recall that I make the decisions. But, Father... The chance of a lifetime doesn't come more than once, but what's to be done? He wants to lose this war at any cost. Sixtus, your father is going to be the ruin of us all. I know, but what can we do about it? I won't give way. Until I can speak one more time with Pompey. This is our last chance. Ah, your beauty this evening is worthy of a kingdom. Only you can restore me to my kingdom. This document will place Lucius Septimius at your orders. Oh, bless you. You know, I've had to set myself against my generals and separate myself from a legion that is the apple of my eye. You will always have my gratitude. Have you nothing else to say to me? Give me that order, please, Pompey. Not yet. March against Caesar, and after your victory, come to Alexandria, and I will see you there. You will recount your exploits, and I will crown you with a victor's wreath of laurel. No, no, we will return to Alexandria together. When I have defeated Caesar and restored freedom to the Republic, we will leave Rome and pass the years in gilded idleness. But now you must think about the war. Your enemy is a threat to you. If you are beside me, I will win more easily. Your beauty has restored all my youthful vigor. Oh, but your first duty is to your country. You must liberate her from tyranny. Go, defeat your enemies. I promise I'll wait for you forever. You will share the honors of war with me, and you will share my triumph. Oh. I want you to step with me into the triumphal chariot so that all Rome will see you riding at my side. In Rome, I'd be homesick. Let me return to Alexandria. Why, you'd be mistress of Rome. You won't regret your little Egypt. Oh, save my honor, great Pompey. Everyone saw me enter here. I'll come back to you tomorrow night under cover of darkness. Uh-huh. <laughs> and tomorrow, I will give the order to Lucius Septimius. Like this? That's it. Rub hard. I must be informed tonight. Yes, great Pompey. I'm still fit. Ah. What do you oh, think? Oh, you're as hard as a young stripling. <laughs> a stripling, eh? Rub hard about the waistline. That accursed armor raises fat. I suppose you're getting in shape for battle. Ah, uh, the most glorious battle of all. Well, victory has never fled your grasp. Ah, uh, I'm not as young as I once was, my friend. If I were only 20 years younger, I wouldn't be worried about a few things. But often, sir, it's better to be experienced than young and hot-headed. Ah, in the preliminary maneuvers, perhaps. But at the moment of attack... Uh... Your enemy will be eager to surrender. 
The enemy is very young, my friend, and youth is full of resources. Caesar is no longer such a spring chicken. Huh? Who? Caesar. Oh. <laughs> Caesar is the enemy you mean, isn't he? <laughs> oh, yes, of course, Caesar. <laughs> Here are the musicians that you ordered for tonight, General. Ah, good. I want you to play no martial airs, only sweet melodies which caress the ear. And um, not here, over there. At your orders, great pomp. Ah, let me see. What is this? Always the same. No, great Pompey. Today the pheasants have been cooked in a sweet sauce. Couldn't you find something better? This is wartime, great Pompey. Huh? Ah, uh, that's true. Scourus, there's too much light in here. And see that the wine will be strong. Hmm? Of course. <laughs> Have some more wine? No, thank you. Oh, why not? Just one more drop. Oh, oh, forgive me, my little queen. <laughs> why do you stay so far away? Come close to me. Oh, the night is young. For such a famous general, the victory should not prove too easy. But not too difficult either. Leave me time to relish the fruits of victory. <laughs> Don't you wish me to speak to you of Egypt? Oh, no, 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 no. You've told me everything about Egypt. No, I haven't told you about the pyramids. Ah, yes. I know all about the pyramids. Aren't you drinking too much? No. Bacchus is the friend of Venus. <laughs> Come here, my little Cleopatra, and make a libation with me to the goddess of love. Huh? Have you sent the order to Lucius Septimius? No, it's here with me. Give it to me, I beg you. Later. Tell me about how you defeated Mithridates. I love hearing tales of war. Oh, you too want to talk of war. I can't stand anymore. I'm weary of it. When you have defeated Caesar, you will be able to rest. And then, we will glide up the limpid Nile in the royal barge. The slaves will row us gently as we move against the current. You'll see Memphis, the city of a hundred gates, and Thebes, the home of the gods. And you will be beside me. Yes, like a faithful slave, her most loving wife. Yes, love, that's a good subject. Come, let's talk of love. Pompey. Hmm? I must tell you something. Something more? It's very important, but you must promise me that you won't get angry. I promise, but hurry. Pompey. I've thought it over. I've tried hard, but I can't go through with it. I don't care a bit about being the queen of Rome. I invented everything to get your help. And also, I must confess it all now. It's not true that I was shipwrecked and the sea carried me to you. The gods didn't have anything to do with it. I took advantage of your good nature. I've been stupid, I suppose. But now I want to leave here. I want to go back home. There now. I've told you everything and I feel better. Forgive me, Pompey. Try not to hold it against me. What do I really matter to you? You can have all the women you want. Tell me, can't we go on being friends? Pompey? Pompey?
to the Tribune Lucius Septimius, commander of the 23rd Legion from Macedonia. From Pompey, General-in-Chief, our salutations. O oh, Queen, I await your orders. My orders are to march. To Alexandria? That's what I meant. We will have to do battle. I have been informed that the auditors called up an army right after my departure. With a man like you in command, our victory is assured. Be very careful, Cleopatra. That man is not to be trusted. At this moment, we have need of him. But now, we must go to Alexandria. What should we do with him? Let him go. Please forgive me, little sister. The blame lies with Theodotus. It wasn't my fault. I didn't know anything. Believe me. When they came and told me you were dead, I wept for you. I had a special prayer written for you. I have always wished you well, Cleopatra. The kingdom is yours. I never enjoyed being king. Convey him to Zani Ra. See to it that he is shut up in the fortress. He is to be treated like a king. Everybody must know that we are devoted to each other in full accord. Soldiers. I think you must have gone mad. All the honors and all the riches in the world mean absolutely nothing to me. They only help to keep me away from your side. In Syria, you were just a girl alone. But now you are a great queen. I am the queen for all Egyptians, but not for you. Is it possible that you love me? Must you ask? My queen! Forgive me, my queen. Lucius Septimius would like to speak to you immediately. 
Tell him to go away. No, no. I think it would be better to listen to him. At this hour? Perhaps tomorrow morning with your counselors. Show him in at once. That Lucius. Don't trust him. You must make him understand he doesn't command here. It needs a little diplomacy. Great Queen, Pompey is defeated. Now Caesar is ruler of the world. Are you sure of that? This man was with Pompey at Pharsala. Now Pompey has fled and has arrived here. He has arrived here? But how is that possible? It is so, my queen. Pompey closely followed by Caesar is on board his ship offshore. He asks for help and your support. It can't be. The great Pompey defeated and put to flight. But that means that Caesar will be coming here with his soldiers and his fleet will have war on our doorstep. That is correct, Cleopatra. Of all the places he could have chosen in the world, Pompey had to come here to ask for assistance. Keep calm, my queen. Keep calm? With all the trouble that's closing in on us? Pompey on our necks and Caesar arriving? Soldier, return to Pompey. Tell him he will find asylum in my kingdom. We are all of us with Pompey, aren't we? And you, Lucius, you're still under orders, if I'm not mistaken. I'm a soldier. Ah, yes, I remember. I recognize that reply. Tell us what you're going to do. Make war on Caesar? <laughs> you would risk your life as I risk my throne. One must know when to choose between honor and advantage. I am not Pompey's man. I am a Roman. For you, it's Caesar. What are we going to do with Pompey? I would say that he will make a valuable bargaining point. With Pompey in our hands, it will be easier to discuss terms with Caesar. That's ignoble. Is there no other solution? No. I see. You win, Lucius. Go at once and receive Pompey. He knows you well and will trust in you. Bring him here right away. And treat him as befits his rank. Cleopatra. Be quiet. I am ashamed of myself. That poor old man. He came here hoping I would help him, and instead. How horrible. Cleopatra. Well, what else could I be expected to do? Caesar would have destroyed everything. Me and the whole populace. The vanquished expect to lose their friends. Ave, Lucius. Ave. Pompey is dead. Long live Caesar. Long live Caesar. Close the port and allow no ship to leave it. And have Apollodorus brought to me. I am here, Caesar. Ah, there you are. Apollodorus, your Egyptian friends do not prepare a suitable welcome for us. I was aware that they are slightly mad, but I never thought them warlike. I don't like it. But then Egypt doesn't interest me. I want Pompey. What do you want with him? I haven't decided. But until I have Pompey in my hands, I shall continue this war. Rome has become too small for both of us. Caesar, a threatening crowd has occupied the walls of Alexandria, and they are shooting arrows into your camp. Order the legions to withdraw from the walls and begin to dig trenches. What is this war madness all about? Lovely women, good wine, that is the true essence of life. Hmm. Pompey thought too much about women. And now he's in flight. A wanderer in a foreign land. 
What is this queen like? She's very beautiful. Young? I'd say about uh, 18. Well, then, we must conquer Alexandria. <laughs> <laughs> Caesar, Lucius Septimius, tribune in command of the 23rd Legion from Macedonia, wishes to speak to you. Perhaps there'll be no need to dig trenches. Bring him in. Hail Caesar. Lucius, do you come as a friend or as an enemy? I have never borne arms against you. And yet they tell me you're a Pompeian. They lie. Pompey's ring. Do you know where he is? Pompey is dead. Who killed him? I did. He was an enemy of the Republic. Caesar, be quiet. Wasn't it you who wanted this war? He was a noble and valorous man. If he could at least have died with his sword in his hand on the battlefield. But no. Fate destined him for an inglorious death at the hand of a traitor. Caesar! If you wish to save your life, order your legion to join my troops. Those soldiers are yours. Answer me. Who is in Alexandria? Cleopatra and King Ptolemy. Are they to be feared? The boy is a weakling and inoffensive. It is the queen who commands. How many soldiers? More than 30,000, not counting mine. They are still too many. Triple what I have, and mine are tired. I haven't time. Sixtus Pompey is waiting for me in Spain. Lucius, perhaps you can be useful to me and thereby return to my favor. Do they know you were here? I thought it better to keep my actions a secret. I suspected as much. Very well, then. Lucius, you will enter the palace with only a few soldiers. You will capture the king and queen. No, only the queen. The boy is of no use to me. I want Cleopatra, do you understand? You shall be obeyed. Don't trust him. Lucius is ready to sell himself to the highest bidder. I know that. But at the moment, he is useful. If Caesar wishes to speak to me, he must come without his soldiers. I am the queen here. Have you forgotten it? If you refuse to come along with me, I shall be compelled to use force. You are an infamous traitor. You have killed Pompey, and you have sold us all to Caesar. Get out! Come with me and stop wasting time. Get out, I told you! Out of here! Let me go! Let me go, you coward! Let me go at once! Don't oh. dare to lay hands on the queen and I'll kill you. Leave her alone, you coward. Get out of my way, Egyptian. Caesar is sent for Cleopatra and he'll have her. You dirty traitor. Draw your sword and prepare to defend yourself. Soldiers, come forward. You prepared this ambush. What now, Achilles? Achilles, we must resign ourselves. I will go to Caesar. To Caesar? Never. Arrest this man. Obey orders. What does this mean? We cannot obey orders given by the man who killed Pompey. We are not Caesar's soldiers. Come now, Lucius. Come and collect the price of your low treachery. Now fight! <laughs> Achilles, we are all with you. We must revenge ourselves on Caesar for the death of Pompey. With my men and you to help us, Caesar will be defeated. 
Have you all gone quite mad? You haven't a chance of winning. The gods will be with us, Cleopatra. We will win. But don't you realize that that's impossible? You'll never be able to beat him. Don't delude yourself. I will go to Caesar. I charge you to guard the queen. Do not allow her to leave the palace. You will be obeyed, Achilles. Good. Achilles! I implore you to think it over. Let me come with you. Why, Caesar has nothing against us. We could come to an agreement. Achilles, come back here, I beg you. Achilles! Oh. Speak. In the name of Cleopatra, Queen of Egypt, I order you to leave the country and remove all your soldiers. Did you hear what he said? <laughs> One could almost believe he was serious. <laughs> you know you're a handsome lad and very young. Why don't you take my advice? Go back now and disband your army and bring Cleopatra to me. Don't you want to live and enjoy yourself? I repeat the orders of Queen Cleopatra. Then it's war. Yes, it's war. Caesar's legions have crossed the Nile and are now approaching us. Very good. We will attack them immediately. No, it would be better to wait for them to enter these woods. That way Caesar won't be able to estimate our numbers.
queen. My queen. What news? Speak. Caesar is victorious. What happened to my army? It's totally destroyed. And Achilles, where is he? He was killed. I've never no. seen such bravery. He fought like a wounded lion, surrounded by a pack of jackals. Oh, my dear. Achilles. I knew what your pride would lead to. If only you'd listen to my warning. You must escape, my queen. The Romans are about to enter Alexandria. But if there's no further hope... At least save yourself, my queen. Go. The Romans! All wounded. Where have they set up the hospital? Caesar stands. Straight ahead. Right. he have her all to himself. Don't you know? He's a favorite of Caesar's. Calm yourself, dear. You mustn't be afraid now. Apollodorus, you're my protective shadow. What would I do without you? I dare say something foolish as usual. And this time you've outdone yourself, wandering alone in a military camp. You're alive by mere chance. Yes, I know. From now on, I swear I'll follow your advice. Mm. What was on your mind? Why, nothing. At first, I thought of running away. And then I thought of coming here to Caesar and... And throwing myself on his mercy. Caesar left this morning. He has already entered Alexandria. And lucky for you, too. But why? Caesar is merciless in war. He would have made you his prisoner. I mean, if nothing worse. His chains would be a burden to you, my child. I never wanted this war. I tried to prevent it from the very first. But Achilles was so stubborn and jealous of Caesar. Ah. It's simply ridiculous if it weren't such a tragedy. Apollodorus, tell me. Is it the end of everything? What's to become of me and of Egypt? Who knows? Oh, darling, help me, will you? 
You know this Caesar. <laughs> but is Caesar really so tough-skinned? Not really. For a Roman, he's rather vulnerable. Vanquish Caesar. The idea is fascinating. Perhaps he is the man you are searching for. But you mustn't present yourself to him as a queen. But I mustn't be too slavish. Nor too pleading. Nor too unforgiving. Nor too suppliant. All the better. Caesar is a man of great refinement. He possesses a ready wit. He likes surprise endings. There must be. There's bound to be a really brilliant idea, striking at first glance, without requiring any time to ponder it. A, a cursed carpet. But of course. Take your clothes off. What? Have you lost your mind? <laughs> no, indeed, my dear. I've never been saner in my whole life. So it's you. I see that you've become a rug merchant. <laughs> no, Caesar. <laughs> Egypt has sent you this rare gift. Thank you, my friend. Don't you want to see it? It's truly exceptional. Very well, then. Unroll it. A queen for Caesar. Thank you. 